hello everyone uh, welcome to my new video and uh, if you have not watched my previous videos and uh, and if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, watch all my videos for Microsoft Teams which I have been making for past uh, one month now I am receiving a tremendous amount of uh, positive feedback from you guys I am really thankful to you and uh, in today's video I am going to show you how you can use breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams okay so let's start with the, our video but uh, let me explain you the scenario here for how we can use breakout rooms breakout rooms is actually some smaller groups uh, divided into a, uh, a large group divided into smaller groups uh, just like you can say at, there is a classroom and if a teacher says some kind of a brainstorming session or some kind of a, a thinking a think tank se session between the students so teacher can divide those students into groups okay and give them a respective amount of time to think and brainstorm and then after once they are done they can rejoin back again so breakout rooms in microsoft teams is a good uh, new thing uh, which we can use to have our student divided into groups they can uh, have a brainstorm session among them and they can think about the lesson they can think about any projects any research work and then come back to main group with their, with their teacher and if they need any help uh, for um, from the teacher in the group the teacher can join the group as well okay so this is the main scenario this is the main uh, use case for breakout rooms and uh, let's see how it goes and let's see how we can uh, use breakout rooms in microsoft teams so once again i am signed in as a teacher or you can say a global administrator in microsoft teams desktop application and this is my class 1a let's go here so we have this class 1a uh, team here with the, this certain channel default channel that is journal uh, let me make some j channels here and see uh, how we can go with breakout rooms you can write in description if you want to and make it privacy as a standard because it will be accessible to everyone in the team okay let me add this channel let me add one more and one more also because it will help you understand very better if we have uh, different amount of channels which will act as a breakout rooms all right so now we have three breakout rooms and a one journal channel which is by default here so what we can do is we have uh, certain members here let me show you the members how many members we have as a teacher i am also one uh, one of the member as an owner and we have three students in this team so uh, a teacher can individually assign uh, the rooms or what you can do is you can just go here and you can see this button here called meet now i'm in the first breakout room and i'm in the meet now button so let me click here okay my camera is on right now you can see me here let me turn it off and schedule a meeting click meet now so you can see the meeting has been joined on the first group now okay in the first group and the students are also you can ask them to join let me ask him to join let me ask him to join okay uh, they are both unavailable but you can uh, call them now click here in the teams button once again and go to the second breakout room and click once again to the meet now and you can add a subject here if you want to click meet now now as you can see as soon as i am in the uh, second breakout room my first breakout room is on hold but the call is still going on why because as a teacher you have left the first breakout room and joined the second but the students are inside the group 
okay the students may be talking to each other or maybe having a brainstorming session so they are inside the first breakout room and in the second breakout room you are inside it and the students can also join so i have called an appeal here okay now click once again here and let's go to the third breakout room click once again to the meet now click meet now so now you are in the second uh, third breakout room and as you can see my first and second breakout rooms are on hold okay so on the first and second breakout room the students will be having some kind of a brainstorming session while you are in the third and if you want the if your students call you in the first breakout breakout room you can simply click resume so now i am in the first breakout room while the second and third breakout rooms are on hold okay so this is how you can uh, jump right into the groups uh, right away just by clicking this resume button okay and once everything is done when once the brainstorming session or anything the teacher has assigned you is done you can simply click hang up hang up and then hang up again now you are all joined to the main session okay in the general session you can say so this is how breakout rooms logic work and this is how teachers can use breakout rooms okay so uh, uh, like i said this is a very handy feature for teachers to uh, let their students divide it into groups and uh, do some brainstorming session or work on a project collaboratively so they can even uh, in, inside the breakout rooms they can uh, share some files make some notes and uh, do every stuff they need if there is an, any application you want to add they they can add it as well okay if they have the rights so breakout rooms are kind of a channels here uh, uh the some smaller channels or you can say smaller rooms for the team okay so that was all and uh, i hope the teachers would like it and use it uh, uh, in in their classroom if any of the teacher is been using breakout rooms please share your experience and the drop and uh, drop your comments if you have any queries so thank you so much for watching my video stay tuned for more videos on microsoft teams thank you so much